Hey, what's up, everyone? Hopefully, everyone's doing well. It is January 14th of 2023. I hope, hopefully, everybody had a great Christmas and New Year's with their loved ones. Um, but um, today's video, I'm going to show you how to install this thing called NetStream, um, Universal Video Streamer Client for the PS Vita. Um, you could actually watch YouTube videos on it if you'd like, since I think PlayStation Vita, I think Sony took away the um, YouTube app. Or, or capabilities. So we'll get this thing installed. I'll leave the link in the description below, as always. And um, we'll go from there. Um, it's been updated 18 hours ago. So this is version 2.02. .02. And of course, it tells you what's been added and what's been fixed. I'm going to download the VPK. I'm going to go to my Explorer, or I should say File Manager. I'm going to drag and drop, close this out, and I'm going to hop over to the PlayStation Vita. I'm going to go through Vita Shell, and I'm going to show you how to um, connect your Vita Shell to your um, laptop. Or you could use the um, Vita, connect uh, your PlayStation Vita through the FTP method. Um, which you'd have to do um, through Wi-Fi, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the USB method for that, so stay tuned. All right, once you boot, booted up your PlayStation Vita, you want to scroll down to wherever your Vita shell is. You want to enter the Vita shell. Next, you want to hit the Start button. You want to go down to where it says Select button. Now move the D-pad over left or right, doesn't matter, to FTP or USB, whatever method, method you prefer to use uh, to transfer files over. We're going to be using the USB method, so we're going to leave it as that, this. Next, you want to plug in your USB cord to the, either your desktop or your laptop to the PlayStation Vita, and you want to hit the Select button. So since I don't have my, um, the wire plugged into the, my laptop, I'm getting this message right here. So once I plug my wire in, we'll be all set. So I'll see you over at the uh, my laptop again. All right, we're back on to the um, PC side of things. I have connected my PlayStation Vita through the USB method to the laptop itself. Let's go to the File Explorer. Scroll down until you see your D drive or whatever drive your, your um, PlayStation Vita shows up as. Now, since this is a VPK file, I'm just going to... What you can do is actually just drag and drop um, this file right into right into the D, if you'd like. Or if you have a folder like I do, you just drag and drop there. Whatever works. Um, I like to keep things nice and neat, as always, like I keep telling you guys. So there's a VPK file. We're actually done. We'll close out of that. You're more than welcome to trash this file since we don't need it. Next, what you want to do is always do this. Always eject. Because you don't want to get your SD card like all jacked up and corrupted. All right, that's it. Let's head over to the PlayStation Vita side of things, get this thing installed, and check this out. All right, we're at the Vita shell on the PlayStation Vita. We got the VPK installed, so you want to go to the UX0. Scroll all the way down. You want to install this. Now, once this is installed, I always like to tell you guys, um, you could reboot the system if you want, or you could just swipe out of the Vita shell and go into the game or the application that you just installed. Up to you guys. I'm going to delete this file. Don't need it. Always remember to check the website um, just in case there's going to be an updated version of said file. So what I'm going to do is, when it's start, reboot. I'll see you on the other side. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the dashboard of the PlayStation Vita, the bubble area, bubble arena, uh, desktop, or whatever you'd like to call it. I'm going to scroll down to NetStream. Now, the website says, please read the manual for um, instructions and the controls. So let's do that. Let's move over. So here's what the play controls look like. Left and right bumpers to skip forward and back. You can also use the D-pad, which is cool. 
show hide menu is the triangle, close, minimize is the circle, X is the play and pause, energy saving mode, oop. energy saving mode probably saves a little bit on your battery life, I guess, and the screen's a tap screen, show hide menu. Sources, YouTube, that's going to be used to play videos from HTTP or HTTPS server. All right. You can read this on your own. Um, local storage, that's going to be used to play video files store on local storage devices such as a memory card. So you can load your videos on here as well. Cumulative rewind and fast forward, you can use D-pad or show the buttons to accumulate time to skip values in a manner similar to Android YouTube application. Oh, energy saving mode. You can force system to energy saving mode by pressing start button during video playback. Mode screen be turned off and all. Okay, read this on your own. All right, let's um, let's open this puppy up. Remember, you got to be on a modded Vita, and you got to have Wi-Fi on as well. All right, let's type in my name. I don't know how wise it was to have a screen name on YouTube as my first and last real name. Let's see if this pulls up. Let's see, settings. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know what that is. Um, let's type in. Oh, there we go. I guess you can't um, search for people's screen names, but, like, I guess you could only search for what you're looking for, like, P P PS Vita stuff. That's a shame. I was hoping to pull up my own, my own name. Try this again. No. Nope. All right. Let's. Oh, there we go. Crap. <laughs> I think this is just a little buggy, and um, I think my connection is wonky too. That's why. That's what I'm guessing. Not really too sure what the error code stands for. There we go. Don't want to toot my own horn, but I got a bunch of videos. Some have been good, some have been really bad. I think the shorter the videos are, the more people will stand to stay and watch. Because I think anything over 15 to 20 minutes long, I think that's a little bit too, too long for anybody's attention span. I think people's attention spans nowadays are very, very slim. Uh, that's cool. All right, let me search something. Let's see.
Now, mostly, most of you might or might not know that I like music. I like music and movies a lot. And I like this band, too. If anybody's into, let's say, emo, indie, pop punk, this is um, a pop punk band called Handguns out of um, Pennsylvania, USA here. Hopefully this works okay. Like I said, my uh, my connections blows. Really hoping to show you a video. Christ. Maybe doesn't maybe the gods don't want me to show you a video, so I can't get out of this either. Oh boy. I'm in an in infinite loop. I can't get out of here. Well nonetheless, you know what the what what what's gonna go on when you uh want to use this as a YouTube video um, player. I give props to whoever created this. This is cool. I have never used the YouTube video application in my life when, it, when the PlayStation video had it. But this is kind of cool. At least it gives you like the words and stuff like that. It tells you how long ago, how many subscribers, uploaded by who. Crap. All right. I guess I got to do this. Yeah, I think it's just very picky. I think it's just my connection that it depends what connection is going on here, I guess. I don't know. Like, as you tell, like a few minutes ago, it was working fine. All right, let's do... There we go. Maybe it has to do with, like, certain words. You maybe have to... Add something else to what you're searching for, maybe? Well, if this doesn't work, at least you guys know what you're, what you're getting yourself into. Hopefully on your end, it's not like this. Unfortunately, where I live, where I moved into, um, the internet is terrible where I live in my little apartment. And the only way to fix it is to knock down the wall where the coax cable goes to. And they would have to fix the whole line. And um, apparently the building owner is okay with it, but he wants me to pay the bill to fix the line. He's not going to do it. Because as long as I have internet, that's all, like that, that's all that counts to him. He doesn't care if I spent like a hundred bucks on the best internet service there is for the fastest internet. He doesn't care. As long as you can still get it and it works, that's all he cares about, unfortunately. So, I'm stuck with this really crappy internet connection, which I cannot stand. It is terrible for Call of Duty, for FPS games. It sucks. Now, if I had a decent connection, I'd probably be watching a video by now, but... But... I can't. So, this is what it is. This is what you're going to get yourself into. Um, I'm done. I, I, I would like to show you a video, but I can't. I apologize. So, like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and I'll catch you guys around. Thank you for watching, supporting. Hopefully this year is going to be a good year. Um, just like last year was a good year for me on YouTube. Um, I would like to actually extend my thank you to um, someone who donated 
some money to me, Michelle Lau. Thank you so much um, for the Merry Christmas gift through PayPal. I really do appreciate it. So thank you.